Uh, just kind of, it's a longer answer. Um, kind of going back to when I was uh, earlier in my career, freshman, sophomore, that was probably the weakest position. Um, so having that comment come out um, really says a lot about our guys and our coach in that room of how much we cared about turning that position around and making it into the strongest um, position on the field. Um, you know, it says a lot about two guys coming out of that room that are captains. And uh, it uh, makes me proud to be in that room, makes me proud to represent that and be a part of that change that happened in that position. Um, it was it was pretty surreal, um, especially doing it with Nick. Um, Nick's Nick's been there for me, and I like to say we've been there for each other for you know since before college. So he's been my roommate every year. Uh, we haven't moved <laughs> apart from each other. Um, we've kind of been each other side by side the whole step of the way. And so when when both of us got named, um, there was there was a tear or two shed and a big hug. Um, but it, it uh, it's an honor. I mean, it's pretty easy when you have a great group of, group of guys. So it's you know, but it, it, it says a lot uh, that you know out of those great group of guys, uh, they they want you to lead them into games and into adversity and be the voice of the team. How much of that for you is realizing a dream or a vision that goes back? I don't know long before your career in Nebraska began. I mean, being being a captain was definitely something that 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 interested me. Um, I, my, my biggest interest was just being the best teammate that I could be. Um, captain or no captain, we have, you know, we got four guys named, but we have 20 other dudes that are leaders on this team that can do a phenomenal job um, in every position, offensive and defensive. Um, you know, it, it, it's awesome and I'm honored and I, I, I can't believe that I got named, but, um, you know, along those four, four guys, uh, they just wanted to be the best teammate, best friend to everybody. and, and uh, best leader they can be in any situation and um, they got recognized for that and I'm, I, I'm more than happy and, and it's, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. Nick talked about the growth of Memphis Caleb as a leader. What have you seen from him in his years here? Yeah, uh, starting off he was kind of a hot mess. <laughs> uh, uh, kind of a, um, a problem guy. You know, he's always on the accountability list. He was always, you know, late or doing something wrong or, you know, along those lines it was just not, uh, Seemed like there's outside stuff going on, um, and the, the past couple of years, uh, he's he's really focused, and it says a lot for him coming back. But he's really focused on being the best player he can be, being the best teammate he can be, talking to dudes, mentoring dudes, being the voice of of uh, not you know when I'm not saying something, he's on the side saying something. You know, he 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 does he he's grown and completely turned a new leaf, and I've even talked about it with my parents because you know my parents ask about him like, hey, how's Caleb? And, um, I, I I tell them about the progress and they're and they're amazed and um, I am too, everybody is he, he's done a great job and I love I love him as a teammate and I you know he's kind of been my partner in crime you know when like cop shows have a partner and they go in the in the car together all the time that's kind of I look over to the side of the field and he was always he's always been there so um, seeing seeing my partner in crime on the field kind of develop into that guy uh, it's it's it makes me happy it makes me proud. Um, I'd probably say when Coach Dawson came in, um, he, he'll tell you how it is, and I, you know, he Caleb needed to hear some some things that he uh, was told, and I definitely needed to hear some things that I was told, and um, you know, along with anybody in that room. But uh, he works at it um, pretty much every day, um, and he, he he's he's awesome. I I couldn't be more proud of him. Hey Garrett, uh, you'll be testing against one of the best left tackles in college football. Right? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, that's why you play in this league. Uh, in the Big Ten, every week you're going to have the best offensive lineman uh, in the country uh, you're going against. And, um, you know, we, I've always been talking about how much I've improved my pass rush. And um, like you said, this is probably the great test right out the gate. So, um, you know, that's uh, definitely been, it's been on my mind for a while, if, if you want to be honest. Um, I'm really excited because um, obviously, that, like I said, that's why you're in, the, in this league, to rush against those best guys. But, um, I'm really excited for the opportunity. And you study him a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, he uh, great player. I'm really excited to go against him. What is the ambition of the coach on that? Is he's he's come in and uh, added another element to our defense. Um, 
we can do so many things with, like you said, those edge guys in, in, in our, on our team that, um, you know, not as, I wouldn't say as common, but when you have three or four guys that know the defense and can put, you know, you can just, their X's, you can move them anywhere. It's, it's pretty sweet um, to see what, you know, the genius Coach Chens can do. Um, but he, he's done a great job learning the defense and he came in and um, he, he, he was, there's obviously there's a little bit of a curve. But um, after that curve, he, he's done phenomenal learning and asking questions and being part of the defensive line. Mm-hmm. What did he do to show you guys that he had figured out? Just on the, I mean, you'd watch film every day with practice, and it's, you know, like, oh man, Ocean, you know, Ocean, I got to be in there, or you got to set the edge, or this, you're rushing instead of dropping, or stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, one day, it's just clicked, and uh, he's, he strung together a lot of good practices with very minimal uh, MAs. And uh, has developed his pass rush game, has improved in his pass rush game. He's always a strong athlete, really long, uh, good pass rusher. But um, has done a phenomenal job just kind of fitting into our defense as a piece. You mentioned that you got you and Caleb, among others, have done a lot to help him get acclimated. Have you guys learned anything about being a great pass rusher or preparation or anything like that? Um, no, it's just kind of cool to watch him do, him, do his stuff. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's nice to have. Uh, competition in the room when you know kind of seeing what he does and uh, how he goes against our tackles or how he pass rushes you're like oh maybe you know picking up little pieces from that or me you know coaching him on a long arm or something like that we just kind of it's like a collaborative group of guys of just figuring out how we can be the best pass rushers Eric, is there any one thing you're looking forward to specifically doing in Dublin or just in Ireland <laughs> winning the game <laughs> Yeah, those guys can sling it, man. All of them. Um, they're all ball players, which is awesome. Obviously, uh, they have different uh, assets, just like with any player. You know, so one guy might be faster or quicker, but they're all incredible athletes that can run and throw the ball really well. Um, it, 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 it will be. Yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet. That room. I mean, just with any room, and that's what I'm kind of saying about the whole team. With any room, um, we have a lot of depth with a lot of positions that a lot of guys can play. So that's exciting. Um, you know, with the pieces that we can put together with the offense and defense, it's, 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 it, you know. Compared to your own development, where, where is your mark place going? Taking a big step. They're taking a big step. And uh, that's, that's another part about, you know, when, about being a captain or a leader or whatever. Um, I didn't, I didn't have that uh, when I came in, so I kind of had to figure it out on my own. Um, and I, I swore that I would never let younger guys, whenever I got to this spot or whatever, um, feel the way that I did when I came in, just kind of thrown out to the wolves and figure it out. So I'm um, trying my hardest, trying my best to um, help those guys, teach those guys, this is how you watch film, this is how you do this, this is how you practice. Um, not like saying they needed a complete overhaul, but uh, just things that I wish I would have heard um, and, and telling them and letting them know. So um, they, they've developed really well, and I'm excited to watch them play. Um, how to learn a defense, <laughs> how to learn a defense, uh, what different words mean, how to do techniques properly, how to watch film, how to break down different offenses, um, how to be a f good college football player. So how to figure that out, um, you know, mostly, mostly on by myself, but like I said, with the, with coach Dawson coming in, um, so it's kind of accelerated that. And I finally had somebody to tell me what I needed to hear. Uh, control the controllables. This, te this team does a really good job with that. Um, yeah, we're going overseas, which is wicked. Um, you know, we're on a plane ride for, you can focus on the giant plane ride and the weird conditions and, I, you know, Ireland rains all the time, but then people speak differently and it's weird. Um, or you can just focus on being with each other and controlling our walkthroughs, our practices, our mindset of going in this game. Um, you know, you kind of have to be, more than you know we're always focused on game 
week, but being even more uber focused on uh, what we can do as players and as leaders to kind of bring everybody in and focus on what they need to focus on instead of looking at all this. We're going to a different country. We're on a plane. We're going overseas. We're going to be doing weird stuff over there, you know, and there's like liver and things. But, um, <laughs> but uh, just kind of reining everybody in, keeping that focus of, of, you know, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to winning the game. Yeah, we talk a lot about that. Well, he, uh, I don't know, you know, if you're on Twitter, you can see him just laying out tackles in his pass rush, so he has the ability to do that, which is pretty solid. Um, but he, he's a, he's a probably the fastest, if not one of the fastest guys on the team. Uh, and when you have that off the edge, that's pretty dangerous. Um, he can run down ball carriers. He can throw tackles on the ground in a power move. He can spin and run just about anywhere. And with the motor that he has, it's uh, pretty awesome to watch. Um, he, he brings a lot uh, on the field, and, and teams definitely look out for that uh, with game plans and stuff. They're like, yeah, this, this number two character is a special, special athlete off the edge. So, um, you know, and that's kind of dangerous when you have, you know, him, then me, then Oshan, and then Blaze and Jamari. It's pretty, that's pretty solid. Uh, but he, yeah, teams definitely watch out for number two. When, uh, when Coach Cross was up here, he, he mentioned how last year against Illinois, week zero, he just came out way too tight. How do you, as a captain, keep your guys locked in and tense, but also not too nervous and not too tight? Yeah, that's that's kind of a fine line. You know, you don't want to be um, meshed around, unfocused, um, but you also, you know, don't want to hold onto the stick too tight and crash into the mountain. You know, uh, you know, we, we've kind of fallen into that because obviously we we know the stakes and we know what's riding on it. We know the pressure, and that's that's all great. Uh, that elevates your play and your focus. Um, but when you start, you know, looking at things to not hit, you usually end up hitting them instead of looking for the path to success. Mm -hmm. So um, as a leader, I just want guys to know, yeah, there's a lot of stakes and there's a lot of pressure, but we've done the training, we've done the work, we enjoy playing with each other. We just got to go do that when it, you know, a different color is on the field. Um, we, like I said, with the controllables, we can't control what they're going to do or what happens or this or that. We can control how we play and how we focus. So um, just displaying that to the team, displaying that to each other um, is the most important thing. Yeah, let's be focused and locked in and, and um, dialed into how important this is. But at the end of the day, we're playing football and hitting dudes and creating interceptions and sacking people. So that's pretty, that's pretty fun. You know, you got to laugh and enjoy that.